Tonight is our gallery opening. We invite all the community members in to see what our students are experiencing. We have live music, jazz, the folks of the community. Why is that footprint? Our carbon footprint. Carbon footprint. It's the carbon footprint. This year, every seventh grader will get to come through the district and see three very different gallery spaces that teach our students about science and social studies in different ways than what they're used to in traditional instruction. It's fun to see the kids walk through a door where they think that they're just going to get the normal classroom experience and then when that door opens they see the white pristine walls and artwork hanging on the walls. Each painting has its own uh, message and story. It wasn't regular artwork like just pictures it was kind of like giving a little message about things were happening in the world. All of my artwork is designed to create conversation and inform. So I create artwork to educate, not just decorate. So it's very easy for me to walk them through that work in terms of how it relates to the things that are going on in their everyday life, what is happening in current events, and how it can actually improve their focus with what they do in the classroom. My favorite was the aptitude. Apps aren't really your diary, like you can't just say stuff about it and then it's gonna go away. My favorite one was the Dream Gallery because I really like all his quotes and the drawings. I learned that no matter what skin color you have, it doesn't really matter. Even if someone's just making fun of you, you just don't have to listen to them. It was more exciting to learn in the gallery than in my class. We want students to be able to come from this gallery to any other large gallery and understand how to look and think about artwork. So this really becomes a springboard from the community to the next level of what we'd like to offer our students.